<laughs> Welcome back, I Just Cards, episode 21. And this week we're going to unload the floodgates and we're going to do the remaining basketball ones that I have. I got two in the mail today, so we got a nice little stack here. First up, we got Darvin Ham. We got Clem Haskins. This is a big one here. We got Bashan Leonard. We got Luke Ridenauer. We got Bill Curley. We got Chris King. We got Sue Wicks. We got Tara Vandeveer. We got Lorenzo Orr. And to wrap it up, we got the legend, Bobby Knight. So, let's dig in. Okay, let's dig in here. First up, we got Darvin Hanna. This one came back today. And this is one of the, the many that I sent to NBA clubs. So, the first, this is the first one that came back. So, it's a nice surprise. So, I thought I was going to get skunked on those ones. And Darvin Hams played with the Nuggets, Bucks. He coaches now for the Bucks. Uh, he won a ring with the Pistons. You know, kind of a high flyer and dunker here. Let's check out the car. Looks like he wrote a note here. Oh, that's cool. Some little letterhead there. Check out the card. One of these rookie cards with the Nugs. Like he's getting ready to slam it right there. The nice blue ink there on these NBA hoops cards. Thank you, Mr. Ham. Appreciate that. Next up, we got Clem Haskins. Now, Clem Haskins, uh, Minnesota Golden Gophers coach for the men's hoops for, from about 86 to 99. Obviously, it's some, um, you know, issues at the end of that tenure. Let's check out the card here. Looks so, like, uh, what do we got here? What did I send him? Looks like a Skybox Team USA card with the blue ink. That's pretty cool. Looks like he signed the back here, too. Thank you, uh, Coach Haskins. Appreciate that one. And this one I'm excited for. This one was a shot in the dark. No known successes from him. We got Machan Leonard, who played under Coach Haskins at the University of Minnesota. And uh, like I said, I was a huge Leonard fan. He, he, he played with the Heat, you know, with Marley. Morning, Hardaway, uh, PJ Brown on those teams that would battle the Knicks. And I sent him just a stack of cards here. Let's check them out here and see what we got. So, first up, we got a stadium. Started with a faint black marker here. Be tough to see there. Wah, wah. Another one here, one of these player showcases. And this is a cool card. It'd be, it'd be cool with like a nicer marker, but I mean, it's still a success, but that's a pretty sweet card. Another one with the heat here, getting ready to drive to the lane. And finally, one of these Gophers cards. This one probably looks the best of the bunch. That used up black marker. Thank you, uh, Mr. Leonard. Appreciate those. Next up, Luke Ridenauer. Now, Luke Ridenauer played at Oregon, drafted by Seattle Supersonics, and then bounced around a couple years with the Wolves, a couple years with the Bucks. Let's check out the card here. Looks like blue ink on a Fleer Ultra here. That's kind of a cool one. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ridnar. Appreciate that. Next up, Bill Curley. Now, Bill Curley, just a beast at uh, Boston College. And then didn't do a whole lot in the NBA, mostly due to injuries. But I know he, he played a year or two with the Wolves also. And I think I sent him one of my uh, Skybox Emotion cards. So let's check it out here. Yes, we did. So, 
It says psych there, the black ink. That's a sweet one there. Thank you, uh, Mr. Curly. Appreciate that. Next up, we got Chris King. Now, Chris King, he was a part of that inaugural uh, Vancouver Grizzlies teams. And I remember him because he actually had the tip-in winner against the Timberwolves in the Grizzlies home opener. And then the Grizzlies proceeded to lose the next 19 straight games. So, it's Timberwolves for you. Let's check out the cards here. Oh, so I sent him a Fleer Ultra 93-94. With Let's say always with the Sonics on this one, with the black ink. We'll add that to the collection of these cards. And if you're digging these cards and you haven't seen the episode, I believe it was episode 14, I did a whole stack of these cards. And then I get a, let's see, we got a 95, 96 Flair Ultra, one of the inaugural Vancouver set. That's a pretty sweet one there. And man, I'll say it again, those jerseys, some of the best of all time. Thank you, uh, Mr. King. Appreciate that. Next up, Sue Wicks. Sue Wicks, WNBA. Played with the Liberty. Um, and I think I found... Now she sells oysters on the East Coast. So if you're looking for oysters on the East Coast, hit up Sue Wicks. Let's check out the cards here. It looks like... I sent three cards. Looks like I sent doubles of the Skybox Hoops cards, which would have been the second year. She signed both of those. I believe I told her she could keep one, but she must already have a whole bunch. Show the back of one of those. And then these pinnacle ones, like I said, these are these are my bread and butter cards too. These are these are just sweet cards. If you haven't seen the WNBA episode, I believe that was episode 12. Go back and there's a bunch of these cards. Thank you, uh, Sue Wicks. Appreciate that. Next up, Tara Vandeveer. Now she just passed Pat Summit for most wins all time in women's college basketball. Pretty impressive. She's been at Stanford since you know the beginning of time. Let's check out the card here. Looks like one of these USA. Looks like it's seen some better days, but that's a cool signature there. And if you see the card, it's kind of cut there, a die cut on the bottom there, it kind of goes there. Thanks, Coach Vanderveer. Appreciate that one. Next up, we got Lorenzo Ward. Now, this was an interesting one. This one, I saw his name on social media. I did a Google. I found the card. Because he actually, he's at a, he works at like a gym doing basketball. Kind of in the Farmington Lakeville area. Which, so here, here's my Al Bundy moment. Diminished, so diminished. Of, back in the day playing hoops for school. We played Farmington, and I remember, this is back where the rosters were pretty deep, and I remember like the first half and most of the third quarter, I didn't even play. I was sitting on the bench listening to the Hot Boys. Let's see if I got, I'm going to have here, hold on. Oh yeah, here we go, right here. So I'm on the bench rocking out to the old Hot Boys back when uh, Lil Wayne was low, and then I got in in like the fourth quarter, I dropped at least a dozen points, you know, mostly doing work in the paint. Diminished, so, diminished. But anyway, it makes you think of that because this guy's over in that area. So let's check out the card here. Enough about me. See, we got a note back. Looks like a little post it. Little Happy New Year. Check out the card here. I don't know. <laughs> got some interesting signatures here. If you can see that with the black ink. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty sweet one here. I mean, he started at USC, and then, like I said, a dozen or so years overseas. So, thank you, Mr. War. Appreciate that one. Last up, we got Bobby Knight, Coach Bobby Knight. You know, what, what do you say about Bobby Knight? You know, one of the best college collegiate coaches of all time. You know, the chair incident. You know, the Hoosiers were always a pretty decent team. You know, a tough out in the tournament. So it's always cool to get these ones back from these high-profile guys. Check out the card here. Okay, that's sweet. It's like silver ink on this one. Looks like he wrote something, my name, and then he signed That's a cool one there. That's pretty sweet there. 
pretty sweet suit jacket there too. And then the back, it's got the career highlights. Thank you, Coach Knight. Appreciate that one. Looks like that wraps up. I just cards, episode 21. Don't forget to uh, like, dislike, subscribe, share, comment. And uh, until next time, I just cards. Take care. Ha, ha, ha.